Welcome back to another review by Mega Train Lover. Today we are having a look at a model from neither Hornby nor Backman. It is actually a model from one of the major retailers, online, like uh, basically online model railway retailers, but they've obviously got a store as well. As you can see, it is by Hatton's Model Railways, and it is the P Class 060T, uh, the South Eastern and Chatham Railway P Class. Now, um, if you turn to the side, you can see again outline. This is um, this is sort of a basic outline because it doesn't actually have a livery on it. This is like a sort of undercoat um, livery, if you like. But if you turn to the um, to the side of the box, you can see the uh, basic. Uh, well, that's actually not a basic picture. That's actually quite quite a nice photo um, of the model. Um, but you get a lot of um, yeah, quite a bit of detail. You get SECRP class 060T number 178 in these SE, SE and CR full line green with brass and it's digital ready 6 pin um, its product code is H4-P-001 and this model is actually produced by Hattons so what it basically means is it's not um, I mean it says exclusive to Hattons model railways on the box but it is basically produced by Hattons. It's not produced by, for example, Dapol for Hattons or some other manufacturer for Hattons. It is all uh, made in house in Hattons. And well, produced by Hattons rather. Um, so this was their second model. The first model they ever made were, was the Andrew Barclay 040, which is very, very successful. And then they made these. Now uh, this, when they brought these out, these were an almost instant success because they very much filled a sort of gap in the market because uh, as far as I'm aware there was no ready to made model of a double O gauge P uh, South Eastern and Chatham Railway P class before. So this was a very welcome addition. Now a uh, bit of history about the P class. Now the model, uh, before I get on to the history, the, the model isn't actually in the box. I've taken it out, I've given it a run in. Um, but I mean in the box, the box itself is really really nice. You basically, get a f you basically get a foam padding and then within you've got the ice cube um, which is similar to Hornby's and Backman's packaging. And um, yeah, the, so the locomotive is really really well packaged. And this box is just incredibly sturdy. And you get all the usual things, you get the instructions and you get the detail pack. Um, but yeah. So basically a bit of fish about the South Eastern and Chatham Railway P class. So the P class were uh, there were eight of them built in between nineteen hundred and nine and nineteen ten to the design of Harry Wainwright and they were all built at Ashford Works. And now the P class were originally intended for motor train work, so basically uh, basically push pull sets, so where you'd get um, the locomotive coupled to one or two coaches, and then the locomotive would pull the train to one end of the one end of the line, and then when it uh, wanted to go back, uh, to avoid having the need to run round, it would just uh, the driver would climb into a cab um, at the other end of the train, and it would basically head back uh, with the locomotive propelling the train backwards so they were intended for those duties however very soon they were found to be incredibly underpowered I mean it was said that they had about 70 percent of the tractive effort capable pulling power capability of a terrier the London Brighton South Coast Railway terrier um, I mean it, speaking of terriers it must be said that the P class was actually based off of the terrier design uh, so because they weren't successful on motor train work, they were relegated to shunting. So they were used primarily as dock shunters, but they also worked as station pilots. Uh, all eight of them passed into the Southern Railway and eventually into British Rail as well, until they were withdrawn in the late 1950s and early... I think a couple of the, few of them survived until the early 60s. But amazingly, uh, despite the fact that there were only eight of them built, four, that's right, four, essentially half the class, have survived into preservation, which is incredible. I mean, considering sort of the number built to number preserved ratio, incredible. Uh, the four preserved, you have number, uh, one of them is on the Kenton East Sussex Railway, and three of them are on the Bluebell. So the one on the Kenton East Sussex is number 753, 
and then the three on the blue bell are number 27, 323, and my example, which is 178. And the model itself, I'm just going to put the box to one side. The model itself is right here. And yeah, so we're just going to have a look at this gorgeous model. Wow. I mean, what can I say? Uh, first thing I must point out, these discs, they come in the detail pack and I've added them um, because I basically add discs to all my um, all my sudden region engines. But, oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, for such a tiny engine, I mean, j just, just for comparison, that, <laughs> it literally fits in the palm of my hand. It is a tiny, tiny engine. For for its size, it is incredibly well detailed. I mean, you get the side of the front, so you get uh, the six lamp irons, which is typical of the southern region. Let me just focus. Yep, there you go. So you get uh, three lamp irons at the front. You get two either side of the smoke box, smoke box door, and then you get one on top of the smoke box. A separately fitted handrail, which runs all the way alongside the boiler and around the smoke box. And let's just check. Yep, sprung buffers as standard. Um, what I also like is actually I'll tell you something funny, um, or not funny, but um, considering its size, it's quite heavy, and that's because it's got a die-cast chassis, which is really really nice. The body body is made of plastic, but the entire chassis, which includes the running board. Actually, maybe not the running board, no. Um, no, not the running board. But basically, the, the entire chassis is die-cast, which is really, really nice. Gives it quite a bit of traction. Um, maybe more than the real engines. Not too sure. <laughs> but you get the injector pipes on uh, both sides of the model. So you get one there. Gosh, this camera is finding it hard to focus. You get the injector pipes there and there as well just on there all this pipe work and you even get a separately fitted um, steam reverser um, act, um, I think it's, that is I mean it's definitely for the steam reverser but I don't exactly know what it's called but it is definitely that is definitely a device that operates a steam reverser contrary to belief that is not a Westinghouse pump uh, the southeastern and Chatham engines were all vacuum brakes so they didn't have air pumps London Brighton and South Coast engines, they were air braked, so they had a Westinghouse pump. South Eastern and Chatham didn't. I mean, just, just look at just the level of just the level of detail and it's separately fitted as well. None of it's molded. The paintwork, I mean the paintwork, the livery is just stunning. I mean I've seen the real 178 on the bluebell and I can confirm this looks exactly like that. Only obviously it's a bit smaller, but <laughs> yeah. But no, but just just in general, I mean, delivery application is just spot on. And you get S, S E and C R clearly written on there. You get the coat of arms there. There's its number one seven eight. Uh, the only difference, I mean, it's it's not criticism per se. Um, and in fact, I think it might be a bit hard to do um, for such a small scale. Uh, but on the real 178, the numbers are, um, they're basically, they're not painted, I think they're not painted on the, maybe, the, no, 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 on the on the real one, they are sort of etched on, so they've got, um, I don't know how to describe it, but basically they're not painted on, um, but obviously on a model this size it would be quite hard to do, but I mean that looks really, really, con that number looks really, really convincing. And even the builder's plate just on the cab side, it's let I can let I can read it as Ashford works. That and it's such a tiny detail as well. The wheels look really, really nice. And I mean I did say there's a detail pack, but the brake rigging, just here, let me just focus. Yep. The brake rigging is all pre-fitted. Uh what you get in the detail pack, you get the the head code discs. Um, you also get the oops, you get the chain link coupling, which I haven't fitted on here because it would foul 
with the uh, with the tension lock coupling and you also get the steam heating pipe which I haven't fitted because again that would foul with the tension lock coupling but you get all of that and I think you get a few other bits and pieces as well uh, okay so what else is there the whistle is separately fitted and I think let me just uh, yep yep that does feel brass to me really really nice I don't know if the dome is uh, made of no the dome's plastic but I mean obviously it is it is very very nice I mean it is convincing as, as brass basically it looks it looks nice it looks stunning now uh, I think we'll get to probably one of the strongest parts of the model is the cab for a tank engine of this size that is a beautiful cab I mean wow you get the firebox door you get the regulator painted out you get all the gauges and even the dial just look at the gauges amazing the, fa the, the fact that it's all picked out it's not just you know a blank white circle it is actually there you know you can I mean obviously you can't see the numbers but the fact that they you can see the needle and you can see also um, also where the numbers would go it is all just stunning absolutely stunning so yeah uh, the doors don't open but that's okay I'm not supposed I mean um, even for a mod I mean even for a model of this detail you can't really have absolutely everything um, but I mean to be honest this model is so good that I really can't I really can't cr find any criticism on it even the coal load looks really really nice let's focus yep there you go um, also absolutely love the the way they've captured the pagoda cab roof style this is similar to the ones found on the H class that is just so so nice so yeah I mean all in all and you get sprung buffers on the back as well and you even get lamp irons on the back all separately fitted I mean so all in all considering the size of the model let's just focus come on focus there you go <laughs> sorry this, this camera is a bit lazy today but anyway um, considering the size of the model the level of detail which has gone into this model is absolutely amazing I mean it's DCC ready as well I have fitted it um, it comes with a six pin decoder and it's so and it's so easy to fit and it just slots in um, I mean it doesn't I mean you push it in but then it fits so snugly snug snugly snugly dear sorry I can't really talk today um, it fits so snugly next to the tanks well in the tanks rather it's just all round a brilliant model however looks are one thing let's see what she performs like okay so here we have the Hattons South Eastern and Chatham Railway P class on the track and my god she just looks so adorable as well now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select her number which is number 10 and watch her go and away she goes now I've set her to 19 on my new controller um, before you ask I will do a um, a separate video where I compare my old Hornby Select with the new Gauge Master with my new Gauge Master Prodigy um, but that's obviously a subject of another video let's get back to the P class absolutely amazing I mean the mechanism is just stuffing she performs very well okay let's go into uh, see a few shots of her passing the camera
so yeah absolutely amazing So just to conclude this video, I highly recommend her. I mean, if, especially if you're a Southern Region modeler, definitely recommend it. Uh, the great thing about the Hatton's P-Class is that it comes in a very, very wide variety of liveries. So you have BR Black, you've got the Southeastern and Chatham Railway Green. Um, you've even got more niche liveries like the, uh, I think it's the East Kent Railway or Kent and East Sussex. But yeah, absolutely amazing. I mean, <laughs> already, I mean, I've only had it today. I've only just got it today, but honestly, I'm in love with it already. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.